Scene one, Apple, take one. Right, this is my house TV, and we're in the house with who I would consider probably one of the best baseline producers out there, TRC. What are you saying, TR? Oh, so what are you saying? All good, all good, all good. Right, we just touched Wolverhampton, have a quick interview with TRC, see what's going on. As you can see, he's working on some new stuff there. Don't want to give away too many secrets, I'm going to come off the screen still. <laughs> right, TRC. When did you start producing music? Um, started when I was 17. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, how old are you now? 22. Okay, it's five years, yeah? Alright, in terms of music, what kind of stuff can you actually produce? Is it just bass line, like... Because I'm not your versatile still. Um, it's more like... Well, I'm on a garage thing at the moment. Still doing bass line and garage and that. But as like, you can hear. We're doing grime as well and everything really. Just trying to do everything. Like, I don't really like limit myself to one thing. Like, just try and mess with everything. Okay. But there's a lot of things I'm doing undercover as well that people don't know about. Obviously, what you just said. Yeah, I just, I, just, I just heard a little something, something. Highly I'm impressed. Say too much. Okay, um, how did you actually get into the bass line scene? I don't even know, you know. I think, to be honest with you, I like. Obviously, you know, you know, I used to roll with a puzzle quite, quite close to a puzzle. Right, so when I was younger, like, it was like, look, this is gonna be, this is, this is what it is right now. This is, this is big music and that. And I was kind of, I liked it at the time, but okay. I, that's when I first started producing. So I thought, all right, then I'll give it a go, see if I can do it. And I think I just happened to get in there. So um, okay. Um, how are you, or should I say, how do you view the baseline scene at the moment? At the moment, it's just, it's kind of hit a like. A neutral point where yeah, because there are still raves going on. There's still raves going on and that really, but like, I'm not really gonna beat around the bush and, and lie and tell people. But like a lot of the raves are playing a lot of the old tunes. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying it's not really there is new tunes coming out and that, but they're not really getting as much support as it used to get and things like that. Do you get what I'm saying? But there's okay. still there's still a couple of little raves and that going on and the raves are busy and it's kind of picking up. Do you get what I'm saying? But okay. it's just over time. We have to see what happens so at the moment. It's just flat line. Okay, in terms of the actual producers that are in baseline at the moment, who's still bringing out stuff? Who's still doing it? Q's bringing out a lot of stuff. Shout out to Q. TS7's bringing out a lot of stuff. I'm still bringing out stuff. Okay. Sub Zero still bringing out stuff. Uh, Fredo's bringing out a lot of stuff as well. There's a there's a few people, man, still involved in that, just knocking out tunes and that and. I don't know, man. It's just it just takes time, innit? The, okay. A lot of producers are, are still like just sitting in the dark, de debating whether to still do it or not, and you know us, us like sticking at it and still trying to put cheers out there for the yeah. ravers and see what see what people want to hear. Because a lot of people saying. tend to jump on and jump off a scene when they think it's kind of dying. So it's good to see, see that you're actually still on the scene and Apostle and all the other guys are still doing the thing as well. Yeah, Apostle's still like you know recording ridiculous amounts as as singers and trying to keep people involved and keep the momentum yeah. going like you, even you know what nasty boys banging out a lot of tunes as well the nasty boys probably got the biggest work rate at the moment okay but like you know it comes down to like there's a lot of uh, still a lot of vocalists out there that you know want to do this yeah. and get involved there's a lot of sing-alongs coming out now and it's just it's just taking time okay eventually it'll time around. um i hear you're also a promoter coming from my, coming from my crown yeah <laughs> Who <laughs> told you that? <laughs> <Not remote>, <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything coming up that people need to know about in terms of events um, that you're involved in? There's an event in Wolves coming up called OMG. That's on the first of July. Okay. A quadrant. That's just a nice little, a little reminiscence with the bass in there. It's like me, Old school. I saw EJ, X5, and Johnny B. It's only five of us to get in, so like it'll, it'll always be packed. Definitely be packed that will. Okay, I'm, I'll make sure I get this for. footage on the internet before then. Yeah, definitely. Um, is there anything you're working on at the moment? You can just give people a little blast of just anything at all, or do you want to keep it all hush hush? Or I don't really like. See, I'm not really the type to like gas what I'm doing. <laughs> it. I'm just like, I let it just come out, and that and like you know, when people hear it, they hear it. But I'm working on a lot of stuff for. Um, I don't know if you remember the first mixtape I did called Sounds of the Summer. I'm working on a lot of stuff like for that now. Is that a baseline? Yeah, compilation? it was. A, it was. A, it was a, no, it was a mix CD that I did in 2008 of all my okay. tunes. 
that tune, that CD did really well to be honest. I'm gonna do. I've been working on volume two of that now, like just getting a couple bits and bobs out and that, and um, you know, just keeping it moving. But there's a, I'm working on a lot of different things. Like okay. it's just, I'm trying not to limit myself to one thing, but it's just juggling everything at the same time. Like obviously, there's a lot of different different types of music yeah. I'm trying to get involved in, and there's different things I'm trying to do now that I've kind of got the time to do it. So just have to wait and see how things pan out. All right, cool. Um, in terms of music. Where do you want to be this time next year? This time next year? Because <laughs> you're, you're already big in terms of what you're doing, so... This time next year, I want to be in a yacht in Miami, mate. Making <laughs> drunk money. I don't know about, I about Wolves and Bro in London. I don't want to be right there. I don't want to be in the UK, man. Yeah. All right, cool. And um, finally, what advice have you got for producers who want to get in the game and be successful at making music? Just make good music and don't let people put you down in what you're doing. There's a lot of people who talk like they've made it further than what they have. And you know what? Everyone's in the same boat. Everyone's out here trying to make it. Nobody's rich yet. Right. And there's people who, who will put you down and tell you that you, your productions are whack and that. But don't let people do that. You, know, you just do what you're doing and then eventually you'll get the recognition that you deserve. It's just getting that people to support yeah. what you're doing. All right, cool, fam. Well, thanks for the interview anyway. And um, hopefully we see some of this new stuff you're making out pretty soon. Very soon. All right, bless it.